Imagine. Imagine a world where water is not accessible. Turn on the tap, and nothing comes out. Imagine a world where the nearest source of water is kilometers away, and it isn't safe to drink. Imagine a world where water is something precious, valued, priceless. For many, they live in this world. For us, it is our future. Many people do not consider this. They do. Who are they? The Wellington Water Watchers are a non profitable organization mainly made up of volunteer citizens from Gulf Wellington. Since 2007, they have been educating people about the effects and threats that companies like Nestle bring to your local watershed. How so? By something as simple as advertising in the media and giving press releases. They are standing up and advocating for what they believe in, that water is a basic human right, and that everyone is entitled to clean, safe drinking water. Enter Nestle, the largest water bottling company in the world. Per one tank, Nestle pays $10. Per one tank, Nestle makes $50,000. It's profit. But what does that mean? Where do you draw the line between what's legal and what's ethical? As of recently, Ontario proposed to boost the water bottling fee by $500, meaning that for 1 million litres, it would cost Nestle $503.71. Nestle chairman Peter Brabeck says that, quote, water is not a human right, it should be privatised. He then went on to say that he believes water should be totally privatized and have a market value. By raising the price of the water bottling fee, this edges into water privatization. We got the wonderful opportunity to talk to the chair at the Wellington Water Watchers and one of the original board members, Mike Neji. When we asked him about why water was important to him, he said that, all life depends on water, and that it is currently being used, abused, and misused. He went on to say that people have a pioneer mentality on water, and that they believe that it'll last forever, when in reality, water privatization is already happening, though it is not inevitable, if we start understanding the role water plays in our lives. Furthermore, Mike continued to say that water bottles are plaguing the earth and is a product born out of poor regulation and does not have a role in the world. When we asked him if he had any other facts he'd like to include in the documentary, Mike simply said that we, as human beings, need to reconnect with water on a personal level. <laughs>